Hey, 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 it's your boy, Freestyle Steve, coming back with it again. What is good, guys? I hope everybody is just enjoying themselves on a, it is now um, Saturday, probably, you know, evening, Saturday night here, um, late night, 10.46 p.m. Got done watching a Dragon Ball Super earlier, you know, dope. I don't know if you guys are into that, but they um, come on Saturdays now on a Cartoon Network, Adult Swim, Toonami, whatever they call it. Pretty dope, though, you know, been uh, keeping up with that. But what I wanted to do today is I want to show you guys a app I came across. This app is pretty cool. You know, I was um, looking in the Google Play Store. And I was looking under the music category, you know, I went up here to search. I, I wasn't looking for, you know, music players like Shoutcast or TuneIn Radio or, you know, iHeart or anything like that. I thought, well, maybe if I type like music, I'll find maybe like music related apps or like, you know, like anything like that, you know, tutorials, music theory tutorials. And, you know, I just kept looking and looking. We're going through the music section here, you know. Keep going and going and going. And I mean, now you could probably type, you know, what we're getting for. You probably could type, um, watch, we'll find it. I'll, I'll show you guys here in a second. So I kept looking in the music, you know, I thought, okay, maybe I'll find something that has to do with music theory or music learning or music teaching or whatnot, you know. So I kept looking. We're, we're still, we're still going. There it is. So I seen this and I was like, well. Perfect piano for TV. For um, learn to play piano on Android TV. So you know, here's a full description here. Basically, you know, telling you that this app can teach you how to play piano and amuse you at the same time. Learn to play thousands of popular sheet music sheet. Support external USB MIDI keyboards. Left and right hand setup. That's kind of cool. A and B loop. Speed adjustment. Multiple inbuilt sound effect, grand piano, bright piano, music box, pipe organ, road synthesizer, MIDI, and ACC audio recording. So that sounds pretty good to me, you know, and it seems to be free. So I thought, yeah, why not go ahead and download it? So I went ahead and downloaded it. And fortunately, it does show up in our apps menu, even though, you know, you have to... Uh, search for it on the Google Play Store, you could probably just type piano and it might, you know, let's go ahead and do that. Let's, let's see what um, comes up really quick if we uh, go ahead and search for a piano here, you know, it might come up right away since I already in installed it, which, you know, I'm not even sure what, well, yeah, look, of course. Well, no, it didn't actually come up right away. There came a couple others that came up, you know. I guess under piano games, maybe. Piano tile games? Wow, there it is, you know. <clears throat> I'm just wondering if maybe there's any others. Not that I could see. Okay, it looks like we are good. So, yeah, I just found it. I found it by searching up music. And I was like, that looks cool. I'm going to check it out. So, with that said, we're going to go ahead and check it out. Let's go ahead and open the app. Okay, and right here you want to press cancel. I mean, I notice even if I press cancel... It prompts me for a download screen there. Um, and, and once you get to this screen, once again, you could press your B button, which acts as your, you know, your exit or your cancel or your back out button. So you can press your B button from right here and it'll um, back out of this little download prompt. But I did notice that you don't get that prompt when, um, when you don't have an external storage device hooked up, that prompt doesn't show up. So I'll go ahead and press B. And we are on the main page of the Perfect Piano app for Android TV. So as you can see, there's a couple of um, there's a couple of menus on the top. You know, we got preload songs, online songs, favorite, and my recordings. And you know which menu you're on if if you see that um there's like a little white looks like a little white bar, like a little white bolden bar. So now if you see it, we are on the preload songs. If you look directly under preload songs, you, you know, you'll see that bar I was talking about. Belt. So you got those four menus up on the top of the screen. To the right of them, you got a couple other 
um, options, and unfortunately, I can't see what they are because um, when my shield records and you know it puts what it's recording at 1080p, 30 FPS, you know, blah blah blah. It's covering those other little, um, I guess you could say icons there, but pretty much th that's your menu on the top, and then you know to the right of the uh, word menus, you, if you see there's preload songs, online songs, favorite, and my recordings, and to the right of that, like I said, you see those icons, which unfortunately, you know, I can't really see them because my uh, my shield, uh, I guess you could say recording label is in there, but this is preload songs menu. And basically, with the preload songs menu, um, you know, there's quite a bit here, you know, so you, you can scroll down and scroll up. You can use your uh, directional pad or your analog thumbstick. So I'll just go ahead and scroll down the list to show you, um, show you the choice of songs that you got in your uh, preload song. So there, there's quite a bit, you know, and it seems to be like musical pieces. There's even, you know, popular music there as well. I, I, believe I've seen a John Denver song on a Simon and Garfunkel, you know, other than just, I guess you could say, you know, sheet music. So, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll go down the list and I'll show you guys. There's, there's quite a bit, you know, it's pretty cool. Look at that Super Mario theme. <laughs> Dope. It said unknown, so they don't know who composed that. You know, there's just quite a bit. Andy Williams, Love Story. I mean, and that was the end of the list. You know, we go all the way down. Then you can go back up. So there, there's quite a bit to get you going here, you know, if you're looking to... Um, now, this ain't necessarily a music theory uh, teaching or training app. You're not really going to learn music theory... Basically, what they're showing you here is actually how to play these pieces on piano, you know. So, we'll go ahead and get into that in a little bit, you know. We'll, we'll start with um, we'll start with an easy example, and then I'll go on to a more complicated example. So, let, let's start with Happy Birthday. So, okay. And basically, if you see the menu, you, you see where it says, um, well, let's go back up here. Let's start with the menu, okay. Preload songs. You know, those. this is a menu of songs you can choose from that you can practice. Online songs. Now, look when we go to online songs. If you notice under it, there's a couple of tabs. There's newest, folk, popular, popular 2, featured, classical, kids, instrumental, animation, Valentine's Day, and hot. So this is, we're just in the newest section of, pop, of um, online songs. And then now look at this. Th these are like artist songs. You know, look at that. Zed, Beautiful Now, Lana Del Rey, Old Money. Imagine Dragons, Radioactive. So, so, you know, you got like Avicii, almost like top 40, like mainstream music here. Chainsmokers. So, and this is just one section. Just This is just the newest section of the online songs. I mean, look at all the tabs you have under it. So it, it's, it's, you know, pretty vast what you can do here and what kind of songs you could learn, you know, and just there's quite a bit here. <clears throat> look, Marvin's Room, Drake. You know, I mean, there's, there's, we got quite a bit going on here. And this is the online song section. This is just the newest category. You know, you, you got, like I said, look at under the section itself. There's quite a bit of tabs there. So, you know, you're definitely not running out of a uh, sheet music piano songs to practice to anytime soon, you know, not at all. So there's quite a bit here okay then if we go to the next tab favorite this would obviously be where you could put your your favorite tab my recordings i think that has to do when you have a midi controller hooked hooked up because um this app actually accepts usb midi keyboards you know which is nice so if you wanted to practice along with some of that sheet music or um and, and the shield i believe is you know usb um compliant uh plug and play so you should be able just to hook up your MIDI keyboard straight into your shield and I imagine when you're running this app, this app might be able to recognize it. I'm not positive, but it says that it's, you know, MIDI um, keyboard compatible, so that's kind of cool. So we'll go over to the right, like I said, where you can see my shield label. Um, my shield label is blocking that. I can't tell if that's a folder. It looks like a folder, so I'll click it and then, the, you know, there's the last MIDI file that I play, which was the... Um, Lana Del Rey, old money. So I'll press B to back out of that, you know, back out of that, back out of that. Okay, and then we'll go to the thing next to it. 
which seems to be probably a search icon, you know, so you can search manually. So I'll back out of that. Then I'm still on the top. I'm a, if you can see the three circles, so I'll click the three circle. And I, I can't really tell what that says because my label's in the way. It says open something and then there's help, you know, so. And I can't even see the, the cursor too well to know which one I'm on, you know, so. With some of these options like that where you can't see, it might do good to maybe have like a wired mouse, a USB wireless mouse, cordless mouse, or even, you know, if, if you have a uh, wireless compatible keyboard like how I have my Logitech, you know, with the trackpad, you can hook that up and um, use that to bring up the cursor to select certain options as well. So let's go ahead and get out of this menu, you know. I press B to back out, B to back out. Well, I don't want to exit. We'll go to cancel and then see we got to go to the top menu if you notice there's a left arrow pointing to the left side I'm highlighted on it now so I'll press the A button so now we're back to where we can um, go through this menu right here so we'll go ahead and get to the fun part as you can see this list this is the list of songs again there's three icons over if you could see kind of in a row or in a column there I, I get row and column confused um, but basically there's a circle with two stars where you know we're on Let's go to happy birthday. So we're looking at happy birthday now. There's a circle with one star, okay? Then there's difficulty completeness, which I think you can actually um, test through these examples. And, you know, I, I imagine that's what that difficulty completeness is um, related to. As you can see, there's a 0%. That's because we have not practiced this song or, or tried any of, you know, or tried to test ourselves practicing it. So it's at 0%. But if, I want you to pay attention to that menu there, you know, as you can see, there's the circle with the stars, there's a percentage, and then there's hearts. The heart icons, which it looks like a circle with the heart, those seem to be the icon you can choose to select. Like right now, I don't know if you guys could see it, but right now I'm on We Wish You a Merry Christmas. So if I press the D-pad down, or the thumbstick down, then the next heart that gets highlighted is, is the next song, Odd laying sign so for this example we're going to go to happy birthday so i'll press down again now the happy birthday heart icon is highlighted i'll go ahead and press a button to select it and now once we press a button we are presented with the menu you got three different choices here you got listen practice and bookmark you obviously know that bookmark you know puts it in your favorite so if, if you have a list of these favorite i guess you could say exercises that you know are our piano runs that you want to um, put in your favorites, you could bookmark it. Now, practice, if you choose practice here, it won't work. It'll tell you no MIDI controller detected, and then it'll actually go to the screen where you can preview the MIDI piece, but if you play it, it won't play back. It's weird. It'll just show the notes on screen that you have to hit, and it'll go through the, through, like, it, it just scrolls through the timeline of the song, you know. So practice seems to work if you have a MIDI keyboard or MIDI controller hooked up to it you know if I click it now it'll watch I'll, I'll press a see it says no MIDI device and then it, it shows you it's still going through the piece but we're not going to hear anything because it's it's for practice and you don't have a MIDI device along with it so I'll go ahead and pause that we'll get out of there so we are still in the happy birthday um song right here so I'll click the a again so now we're going to get into the part that you want to be into so now we're going to go to listen but what I'm going to do, guys, is once I click listen, it's going to play the piece. I'm going to go ahead and keep quiet because it's going to play it kind of loud. And I actually don't want to adjust my volumes because what I, what I have a tendency to do that I notice when I'm recording these videos is when I get to somewhere where it has volume like this and I turn it down, I forget like after, you know, the piece or after the music's done to turn the volume back up. So you guys... Oh, probably hardly hear me, you know, if I forget that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I'm going to choose listen. If, if you can see when you're in this mode, the, um, the, the section you want to uh, choose, it's highlighted. You know, if you can see me going back and forth with the cursor there. So I'm highlighted on listen. And, you know, of course you um, confirm your selection with the A button. So once I confirm my selection, I'm going to go ahead and quiet down just so you guys can hear, you know, the piece playing. And, and you can see what goes on, you know, so you press listen and it'll get you right away into, I guess you could say the preview screen for the um, piece that you want to um, practice 
and it'll it'll go it'll play and it'll show you the notes down the timeline or whatever etc etc so we're gonna go ahead and see how this works and I'm gonna go ahead and be quiet while it's um, playing so let's go ahead and listen So that's pretty much it, and then it'll go another another round, you know. Sorry for the audio here, guys, but, you know, it's about as good as we're going to get. <clears throat> and that is how she works, guys. So basically, it just plays the song for you. It shows you um, the notes that you need to play corresponding to the octave that it plays in, the, in for the song, and that's that, you know. So we'll go ahead and explain this section right here. As you can see, there is a top, there's a couple of top options. You know, it looks like there's a top bar here. Um, we got menu options on the right, and we got what seem to be transport controls on the left. So if you look at the first um, option, there's a left arrow. That obviously, if you um, click that, that'll take you back to our main screen with our selection of songs. Okay, next to it, we got this, almost looks like a rewind, but I think that's a replay. So that, that button right there is basically, it's a three in one. It seems to be a replay button, a pause button, and a play button. So if, if you hit that, you know, it'll replay the song, you know, or it'll pause it or play it from being paused. So it's kind of a three in one button there. Next to it, we got a red circular button. I'm sure you guys have seen this button on you know your devices throughout um, the years your camera devices and your phones obviously that is the record button that will um, only come into play if you have a MIDI keyboard hooked up to it so if you don't have a MIDI keyboard hooked up to it then you know it's not gonna work so right here this thing that looks like a speedometer this thing is pretty cool this is called it's not called really anything, but it's it's your speed control. So basically, if I play this back, we'll go ahead and play it again. And I think it works in real time. So now it's playing normal speed. Now watch. I'll slow it down to half speed. So look, there we go. Now it's like quarter speed, look. So, you know, you, you know, you could put it back to normal speed. So, you know, that that's pretty cool. It's definitely a speed control thing there. This thing right here next to it is, um, this is your modes. Um, the only mode it seems like, you know, I use or, or what you're probably going to be in is watch and listen. Unless you actually have a um, USB MIDI controller and you'd like to... Uh, hook it up to your shield and practice, you'd probably go to practice mode, and I don't know what pause mode is, but I imagine maybe it just pauses it, which we can do from the uh, the controls in the left upper corner, I guess you could say the transport controls, you got that uh, three and one button there, which seems to be a play button, replay button, and a pause button, so we can pause from there, so this thing that looks like it, you know, looks like faders or sliders, um, it's called the autoplay mode section, and we are in the watch and listen mode, so I I, I kind of don't switch it to anything else. Really there. I mean, I in practice mode, we don't got a external MIDI keyboard, so we can't use that. So that's this next one to it, if you can see, it's like a piano icon. That's pretty cool. So if you click that, it's
it and now watch how it changes. Now look what it is. It's not the, uh, you know, the notes anymore. It's that do re mi. For, but I like the notes better. Or you can take it off and just have it clean. I I, I stick with the, uh, you know, the octave label. I guess you could say. So that's kind of cool. <clears throat> so then, next to it is a gear thing. And the only thing with this section is I notice it's 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 not workable. I guess you could say with the controller. I mean, you know, you can't scroll up or down. It's it's hard. I don't even see how, you know, if there's a cursor or a highlighted cursor or anything to know which um, option I'm in. So this um, setting with the, uh, I guess you could say the option with the uh, gear icon, icon I, I assume that if you have a, you know, a uh, wireless mouse, a wireless mouse, any kind of USB mouse, or if you kind of have a setup like me, I have the Logitech K400 Plus um, USB wireless keyboard. You could probably hook up something like that, you know, and, and once you move the trackpad or the mouse, you know, or whatever, it'll bring the cursor on your screen, and then, you know, the, these, you can see these um, checkbox options. You can probably check or uncheck which option you want with, a, um, with the mouse, but unfortunately, unfortunately I, I can't even move down the menu here or move up the menu here. It, it just kind of seems like it's kind of a static page. Of course, like I said, I'm wondering if you have a you know, some kind of wireless USB connected wireless mouse or wired mouse, or if you have a keyboard, a wireless keyboard like I have with the trackpad, you, you know, you can bring the mouse cursor up and select or deselect these options and, and probably go through more of this page as well. But I, I don't know if there's any more lower than, you know, where it says keyboards, if, if there's more of a menu or not, I can't tell. But um, it seems like this page is mainly relatable to the MIDI stuff, pre-count, low latency, audio engine, sustain, control, sustain, you know, there's the show label option. And like I said, I, I didn't check if there's um, any, any more options going down. I mean, I could, I could hook up my, uh, I could hook up my keyboard really quick if you guys want me to, but I, I don't really think there's any options going down. It seems like, you know, and if there is, there's probably just, you know, a couple more. And like I was mentioning, I think this section right here has to do with more so MIDI than anything that you would need to mess with to get this working out of the box because it seems to be, you know, pretty much working out the box. So I'll go ahead and back out of this. I'll press the B button, you know, B is your friend. Or I think you can even press the back arrow. So yeah, I pressed the arrow. So we're back here again. Okay. And then if you see this A, B thing, it, it's kind of like a loop passage thing. I, I mean, it seems like when it, when there's... um. You know, like this is pretty simple, so I don't I don't know how it's gonna work. Watch, let's go ahead and like turn this on. So see it like loops certain parts of it. I'm not sure, you know, which part it's looping, but it is looping a certain part. I think the uh when it's white, all white it plays all the way through. So, I don't know. That, I, I have to still kind of, kind of, I have to still mess with that part, but I believe that it's like a looping thing, you know, but it's, it's something I'll have to uh, look into further, you know, and you guys will if it's something you want to utilize it. So let's go ahead and get back out of this, you know, we'll go back to our main menu. Now we'll go to something a little more complex, so you can see some of the other, um, I was looking at the, uh, where is it at? Right here, this Romeo and Juliet theme is pretty complex. So with this one, this one actually, you know, it, it's not simple. Like the happy birthday piece, it seems like that's probably what monophonically played. That You you know, those are single notes. And it seems like you could play that with one hand. Or, you know, as with this, this right here, this Romeo and Juliet theme. This is obviously a little bit more of a complex piece than the happy birthday piece. So... Right here, you know, it shows two sets of notes. So this is set up for playing with two hands. And this is what I want to show you where, where there's the hand setup thing where you can basically, you know, choose whether you want the notes played with the right hand just displayed or the notes played with the left hand just displayed or, or both hands displayed. So it's kind of cool because you could break down, you know, which notes you, you need to practice if, if you need to learn the notes that are played with the right hand, you can practice those. And if you need to learn 
the notes that are played with the left hand, you can practice those. Or if you need to practice both of them, you can go at it. So watch. We'll go ahead and go to this one, and I'm going to be quiet because, you know, I'm going to let it play the piece just so you can see. Now, this is a little more complex piece, so, you, you know, you're going to hear and see a little more notes going on the, the screen here. See, so the blue right there are your left hand. Okay, I didn't want to play the whole piece, but you guys get the picture there. So now, look at this one. This one is different than the Happy Birthday song. As you notice, the Happy Birthday song only had orange notes, which I believe are basically your right hand. So I was saying with the Happy Birthday song, you know, that that's not showing you how to play it with two hands. It's showing you how to play it with one hand, which is which was your right hand, which seems to be... If you look at the screen here, we have two lanes of notes. It looks like we have a couple, you know, we have a section with the blue lanes of notes coming down and a section with orange lanes of notes coming down. Well, the Happy Birthday song, like I said, it was, um, it seemed to be, you know, pretty simple piece, probably played with one hand, which in their example, they use the right hand, which is orange colored, which, which represents the orange notes, you know. So that was the piece, that was the, um, setup used for happy birthday as with this Romeo and Juliet piece you know it you, you can't play this thing with one hand so that's why they have the two hand set up there so you can see the um, the notes coming down on the left side you know on the left side the blue I guess you could say notes coming down that is what your left hand would play and the notes coming down on the right side the orange notes coming down that is what your right hand will play now you know we've already went through the menus on top so what I want to do now, I'm not going to mess with the A and B loop thing, although I can show you what, what it does here. What the A and B here does is it basically switches parts. So if you just want to focus, oh no it doesn't, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, um, excuse me on that one. The hand, uh, the hand if, if you can see, you know, we've already went through the top menu, so I'm not going to go through that here. But if, if you see, you know, below the top menu where we have the A and B and the uh, hand setup menu, so... If I go to the hand setup menu and now watch, I'll press A to make a selection. So now if it just shows the orange hand, once I press play. So as you can see, since I have just the right hand selected, it's just showing the notes that come down the um, lane for the right hand. So now if I go back to that, and now if I choose left hand, which is the which is the blue notes, as you can see, it, it's showing the blue hand selected. Now if I press play, it should just play the blue notes. But, and then, you know, if you wanted to play both of them, if, you can go back to the hand, press the A button, now it shows both hands. And if we go back to play, so it's pretty cool, you know, definitely can um, help you uh, learn more complex piano pieces by um, isolating which notes to play with which hand so you know if, if you you need to learn just the notes on the right hand you could do that the notes on the left hand you could do that then you could put it all together and learn how to play it with both hands so that's pretty cool you know i'm not going to talk about the a b thing although it might work a little better in here let's go ahead and choose a and see what that does okay yeah like i said i think it's it's like a looping option so i'm not positive okay now we got you know got them both loop so I'll, I'll you know it might loop a certain play a certain part in the um piece like maybe the verse part or i don't know a b b a a b a b b a a b a b you know and then you have to i have to go back to music theory for that i forgot what that means but i think it's a loop option because if you see there's watch i'll turn it back to the white 
A dash B, and then if you notice that circular arrow thing above it, I think that is a loop option. So, you know, I think that has something to do with that. But, um, okay, you know, we pretty much went over this. Um, what your menu does up here, your transport controls, your options there, um, your um, hand setup feature here, which is nice. You, you know, it's color-coded. Your left hand is the blue notes, and your right hand is the orange notes. So, you know, A, B thing. So that's pretty much it. That's pretty cool. But what I wanted to do is, is now I wanted to show you the online songs. So, you know, there's a bunch of cool stuff here. These um seem to be, like, you know, more popular songs. Like, look at that, uh, Lana Del Rey. Like, you know, basically just artists that have songs that are knowing you know you can um come here and um go through this list and once again you could see all these uh, tabs under it i mean newest popular featured instrumental so we're in newest now we'll just we'll just pick anything you know let's let's go ahead and try lana del rey again so if i remember it's the heart icon the heart icon all the way to the right is the one that you um choose your piece on so so whichever icon is highlighted it's it's relatable to that piece so now we got the third heart icon highlighted so that's you know radioactive imagine dragons so i'm gonna go to this lana del rey you know and it, it's basically the same same menu that you get in the preloaded song so if i hit the a button you know the um, three options will come up that we've seen before the listen what is it listen practice and bookmark there we go so you know we don't use practice because we don't got a midi controller up so if we press listen, it'll listen. And I think with this piece, um, it, it's, you know, it, it's a two, two, uh, two hand piece. So it, it'll also have the, uh, you know, the hand ad adjustment thing. So if you just want to show the, the notes to the right hand or the left hand, you can. So watch. Once I press listen, it's going to go ahead and just get us right in there, you know. And it's pretty cool because even though these are online songs, you know, they don't seem to load up as fast as the preloaded songs. But you know, it's it's pretty quick. And, and for me, being on an Ethernet connection, that, that could be part of the, you know, that could be part of why it's fast. It, it's, it's faster than probably being on Wi-Fi or, you know, a wireless connection. I mean, it still doesn't seem as fast as the preloaded songs. But watch, I'll go ahead and click listen. And, you know, we wait a minute, but it, it's pretty much already loaded. And then, you know, this is a two-hand piece, so it shows you both your... Uh, So this is a this is a two hand piece. So you know you can practice which notes you need to learn. Once again, you know we can go to just the right hand notes or the left hand notes, and if you play it, it'll just show you the notes you play on the left hand. If you want to go to the notes you play on the right hand, you'll go there, and you know it'll. So definitely cool guys I thought this would be something that might be of interest to um, somebody you know it's definitely not a music theory teaching tool they're not teaching you music theory they're just um, showing you how to play piano sheet music you know so I don't, I don't know if, if if we can consider that music theory maybe just more of a teaching tool but it's pretty cool you know I mean if you want to learn to play some of your um your popular uh, piano pieces you know simple ones like happy birthday and we wish you a merry christmas and stuff you can learn that stuff and then as you get more advanced you can learn more advanced stuff but once again you know it's not a music theory um program they're not um teaching you that stuff they're just basically giving you a bunch of piano sheet music you know midi files that go along with it and showing you the notes on a almost looks like you know on the notes on a screen and and showing you you know which keys you have to uh play this correspond to those notes so you can learn how to play these pieces you know which is cool because if you do have a midi controller then you can actually you know hook it up and practice but i mean you, you don't necessarily need to do that if, if you have your own setup like external um production setup like i do you know you can just go ahead and throw your stuff on and watch these on your on the t you know on your tv like i am and just practice on your external keyboard you don't necessarily have to have a midi controller hooked up i mean of course if, if you want to you know, 
mess with the process of, you know, like if we go back to preloaded songs and go to the top of the uh, menu here, you know, and how it says difficulty completeness, if, if you want to go ahead and try to um, go through, through these, you know, and finish on a percentage scale, maybe you're trying to test them or what, then, you know, it definitely might make sense to, uh, might make sense to uh, have your MIDI controller hooked up to it, but you don't need that, you know, if you just want to visually look and kind of see where the notes are played in some of these songs, you could do that as well. And, you know, you can use any keyboard, even if you have some cheap Casio keyboard or, you know, a rap man or just, you know, a little toy, toy Casio or any kind of keyboard like that, or, you know, you got your external MIDI keyboard hooked up to your, your computer, or, you know, you got kind of a, a work digital audio workstation computer set up like me, you know, I could just throw a piano patch on, watch this on the TV and play along with it. You know, I don't actually have to hook up the MIDI controller to um, the shield and go like that. But I thought it was pretty cool. You know, I thought this was definitely um, something that might be of interest to people other than just doing a video, you know, about games. I thought, I'd, you know, I, I like music, so I thought I'd do um, a video of something else of interest to me. I'm definitely hoping they bring more like this to the shield i'd like to you know even if it's just piano learning tools I'd, I'd like to see maybe some music theory ones as now you know if you look on the play store there's a couple apps here and there they have a, a sheet reading um app it's it's called you know learning how to, how to read actually staff music and stuff which is nice it's called interval but i mean it's not free it's only 99 cents though but you know it'd be nice if it was free but you know definitely like i'd like to see more like this related like this piano teaching ones and and maybe that you know um staff uh learning um one interval and maybe if they can get some basic music theory ones along here you know that'd be pretty cool but um all right you know your boy freestyle clocking out coming with something a bit different now like i said this ain't a game video but this is a pretty cool app it's called um perfect piano and you know you can get it on the google play store within your uh shield you just got to search for it. You, you might need to type piano or maybe you can just type the name of the app, you know, Perfect Piano. It don't just show up, you know, on the Play Store if you go through the, you know, if you're on the home screen and you're looking through all those categories of apps they have there, it, it don't show up there. So you actually got to search for it. I found it, you know, I, I was looking for this kind of relatable stuff for music, maybe basic music theory training apps and whatnot. And, you know, I, I, type, I didn't type music theory, but I typed music in the... Uh, the Google Play, uh, you know, the Google Play search, um, the Google Play search where you can search in Google Play, and, you know, I was scrolling down, you know, the music category basically came across a bunch of music players and, you know, music organizers and stuff of that related nature to music, and then I seen it, you know, I seen Perfect Piano, so I was like, cool, so I definitely had to get it, and I'm, I'm pretty happy, you know, I'll, I think I'm going to try to learn some of this stuff, get back in into practice, you know, it'd be good just for the beat making too but um all right guys i'm gonna bounce your boy freestyle steve coming with another one and you know i, I definitely think this might be something to check out if, if you're um you know into piano or if you've always wanted to learn some piano you know you could start with basic stuff you wish you merry christmas happy birthday and go on some more uh more uh, complex recordings as it looks like there's tons of sheet music here so some of these are probably definitely you know not just top 40 songs, but were actually, you know, pieces. Silent Night, you know, Polish folk song, Lullaby. So, you, you know, you got some, you got quite a bit of um, listening exercises there. But Ode to Joy, Beethoven, If You're Happy. And, you know, wow, it's a Japanese folk song. I didn't know that. Well, maybe that version is, but hey, maybe so. London Bridge is Falling Down, Britain folk song. So definitely, um... Got quite a lot of uh, songs here to mess around with. Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. <laughs> that, that's, you know, that's kind of cool. But all right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and bounce. You know, I thought this would be cool to look at. Actually, what I want to do really quick, let, let's, before we bounce, let's hear the Super Mario theme. I'm, I'm kind of just curious to hear what it sounds like. So I'm going to play it really quick. <laughs> Thank <clears throat> you. 
That looks hard. That looks hard to play for some reason. I mean, I just see all those notes. I'm like, wow, you know. But I mean, it probably ain't that hard to play. I mean, usually, you know, I, I play a couple chords and I make a beat, maybe a quick scale like solo pattern. But that just looks fast. But um, I just wanted to hear what it sounded like. That's all. <laughs> all right, guys. But it's your boy Freestyle Steve. I'm gonna go ahead and clock out now. I'm hoping the sound came up on this video. Sometimes these damn videos I record them and. You know, like halfway through the video, the sound will cut out, especially if I'm trying to do a, um, especially if I'm trying to do a recording here. That that it's kind of bummer. You know, I'm hoping this, uh, I'm hoping this uh, came out correctly. So, all right, like I said, your boy Freestyle Steve. We got to look at the perfect piano. Looks to be a pretty cool little um, piano learning tool app for. Um, you know, Android, you can probably get it on your smartphone, your tablet, and now they have it on the Shield, which is cool. Definitely want to see more of those coming to the Shield instead of just games, you know, and video um, and movie apps and music. Well, you know, music apps are cool, but some music learning apps, definitely cool to see something like that. But um, all right, guys, I'm out. Freestyle. Clocking out. Peace.